What's up graphic designers? In today's class, we're gonna be applying the color range selection method to create a little bit of marketing for next week's sports day. And I can't help but notice that we've got all of this enthusiasm and a lot of people wearing the color red. And red is indeed gonna be the color that we're isolating today. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna hold command, we're gonna press JJ. And we've got two layers that are copied, two duplicates, this is amazing. Next, I know to select just the red, we're gonna click select. And then we're gonna select color range. And here's what I know. I know that if we click on the black of Parker's pants, all the black is highlighted. The purple of this poster, just, it's not a whole lot of purple in this image. And if we click on the red of Parker's shirt, you can see that all that red is selected. I'm gonna hold shift, and now I'm clicking and dragging on all that red. You know, I selected a little too much, so I'm gonna click again on the red. This looks great. Uh, I'm gonna click down while still holding shift, and I'm gonna grab some of Sarah's shirt. And I can see in this window that we've got lots of red selected. And I'm actually going to hold the space bar. I'm releasing shift. And I can pan around and I'm going to get some uh, additional shades of red here. That looks great. we got to get Jay's sweatshirt. This looks tremendous. And I'm going to go up to the hoop. I'm going to, again, hold shift. And we're getting lots of red. Okay. So I'm going to press OK. And now if we um, create a layer mask beautiful and we hide the two layers underneath this is all that's left this is all that re remains and this looks pretty cool but we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit so what i'm gonna do is reveal the second layer and we're gonna press command shift u to desaturate and i'm gonna press command l and we're gonna make the lights a little bit lighter and the darks a little bit darker and then we're gonna adjust the midtones to brighten it up just a tad this all of a sudden looks amazing, but here is what I know. We need a little bit more of red from her shirt and her shirt, Evelyn's shirt. To do this, uh, I'm gonna click on the layer mask itself. Uh, we're gonna make sure that white is in the foreground and I swapped out the black for the white by pressing the letter X. I'm gonna press B for brush. I'm gonna right click, drop down the size to something a little bit more manageable. I'm gonna increase the hardness to about 90%. And so now we can simply paint away. So if we didn't get everything, on that first pass, um, this is another option. All right, and this looks, this looks, this looks great. And here's what I know: I um, got elements of the wall. So what I'm going to do is actually just use my ring finger, uh, press X to swap white for black, and then I'm going to brush that away, and then I'm going to bring white back to the foreground. This all of a sudden looks really cool. Nice, um, Parker. Thanks for ro rocking that red. Is this Chrissy? Of course it's Chrissy. All right, so you're gonna go through, and this part can might be a little tedious, um, but I'm confident you guys are gonna do an amazing job. And again, if you accidentally like brush away too much, simply press X to bring black to the foreground, and then we're gonna have something that looks a little, a little bit like this. Additionally, what I know is that uh, when I look at the top, we've got the, all these ugly pipes. You don't want these pipes, I don't want these pipes. So I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool, I'm gonna create a new layer above. B for brush, I'm gonna increase the hardness to 100%, increase the size to like, mm, let's try 400, yikes, 400, 500%, bring white to the foreground. And now all of a sudden, when we do something a little bit like this, and we can maybe create, create a nice selection, drop down the hardness just a tad. Um, what I now know is that we've got lots of space for text. And so you guys are going to write something like, you know, Spirit Week 2023, Class of 2024 Rules, whatever, whatever, whatever. We don't need this contraption right there. Um, I'm super excited to see what you guys produce. Um, and when we get the red, when we select the red, I would urge you guys to select the red in like the upper right hand corner all the way. Nice, bright, vibrant red. You're gonna write something like Spirit Week, or I'm sorry, Sports Day. Sports Day used to be the culmination of Spirits Week. Spirit Week. Sports Day, Friday, I believe it's December 22nd this year. Uh, you're absolutely gonna go to thefont.com. I cannot wait to see uh, what you guys come up with. You're gonna put like a little slogan. Um, lab love or whatever. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Good luck.